on the previous episode. We're going to audible Devin Hester to a crossing route. We're basically just going to look at the crossing route in the deep right wheel. And you're going to see he leaves the cover two in the deep right. And Calvin Johnson is going to find the end zone. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, episode 35 of the No Money Spent. This is going to be a busy one. Let's get right into it. Team of the Week, week one content is live. The heroes being Priest Holmes, Rodney Harrison, and Chandler Jones. For each of the sets, you need about 387s, 44s, and I think 5 or 6 80s. The sets cost a little more than what the cards actually go for on the market. To look at the stats, Chandler Jones, a decent left outside linebacker. Basically a left end, a little slow, but he has really good pass rushing stats. The Ronnie Harrison is a great strong safety with 88 speed. He does hit the 90 zone threshold as well as 90 hit power, but it's hard with Cam Chancellor being a strong safety. And then Ed Reed is faster with the 90 zone coverage. So, but still a good, good card. And then Priest Holmes finally being a solid running back. Chiefs team team, Ravens team team. Ronnie Harrison's Patriots and Chargers, I believe. And then Chandler Jones is Patriots and Cardinals. But Priest Holmes, 90 speed, have 91 power up, 91 change direction. A solid, solid running back. And then finally, the limited time card is going. He had 92 miles Garrett. He had a little pound for 93k or 93 93 overall. He goes for anywhere from like 800 or 900k. Solid stats for a right end. Really good hits. I think both 90 power move and finesse move for the uh, pass rush seeing stats. And then for missions, there are no missions to get a, like an auctionable hero yet. There are no training rerolls in the store for team of the week like training rerolls, etc. Like an 80 plus. For these solos, there are going to be two solos. First one's a full game, second one's one half, and you get a team of the year collectible as well as an 87 overall NCAT card. You choose between Kyler Murray and Tano uh, Passanio, former chief, that's how I know his name. But he, both 87 overalls, you cannot put them into the set, unfortunately, but you see you get about 6K as well with the milestones, as well as after 17 weeks, we will be able to get a free team of the week hero i think it will be sellable but it's going to take full 17 weeks but you see here are the two options you get i'm not going to choose it yet because i don't really know which card i want where how i'm going to use it i'm going to quick sell it etc and then moving on we also are going to get weekly rewards getting mvp it's going to be 95k and an assortment of packs of course the best one being one touchdown pack my worst weak link finish but that's okay because the other sides of Madden, coin making, the squad building has been at a peak right now. Even though the gameplay has been a little down, you're seeing the Hail Mary pack. We play Lane Johnson power up. Don't get much out of these packs. I'm basically storing all high, well, low golds and high golds for eventually Team Diamonds. An update on what I think is going to happen. I don't know if we're going to get full 32 team team diamonds on friday i have a feeling we're gonna get about four maybe a division at a time to be four or five i'm thinking division at a time so four team diamonds each friday to kind of replace the 50 content from last year which was like five or six 90 plus overalls per week i feel like team diamond is going to replace that because i don't really know how they're going to fill content till most fear for the next four to five weeks if they drop all the team diamonds at once but you're going to see we pulled bobby wagner the touchdown pack so much better pack luck than last week i am going to sell the bobby wagner for for about 60,000 and we're gonna make our way into what this video is about the investing what I'm doing with my coins I'm going to come into today with about 1.5 mil liquid coins as well as about five heavyweights if they all sell I pretty much came into today with 2.1 to 2.2 mil about there if I sold all my heavyweights etc but you're gonna see the team of the week drop kind of made training just shit the fan or hit the fan not shit the fan hit the fan Remember, if we bought 87s, we're buying them for 65, 68k at about 46 to 45 training per, as well as 91s for anywhere under 300. Trying to now 87s, you're gonna see. I know it's a little. You don't really. You don't have to watch it. But you're gonna see. I'm buying Kyler Murray's for anything under 55,000 coins, which is an absurd. I'm trying to get him for 54,000. 54,000 and under is 34 training per coin, which is just insane. So off the rip, I'm basically this was the team of the week content dropped around i think 12 or 1 o'clock pacific standard time off the rip we're going to go back into the heavyweight reroll with the 36 training per it ends up costing me 97,000 coins to open a heavyweight reroll you see i have 20 heavyweight cards per well in my binder so it's going to be i think i have 10 w's 10 l's equaling the 10 w's going for a or 10 each going for 150k 1.5 mil taxes like 1.35 and then the l's all going for 100k taxes 90k of course so it's going to be about 2.5 2.2 to 2.3 million coins right here on the screen in heavyweights that I'm going to be basically re-rolling, but I don't do many re-rolls, and I'll tell you why. It's it's still a, a valid method. 97k to open. You're going to see the updated prices 
The L's are going for 100k, so you only lose 7,000 coins if you pull an L, and then if a win, you get 30,000 coins profit. But moving on, Rising Stars will be dropping tomorrow, as I predicted. Madden tweeted out Jalen Waddle, 89 overall, as well as a Patrick Sertain, 90 overall, Wall with 91 speed. Sertain hits both 90 man and 90 zone, so it pretty much means we're going to get 489 Rising Stars and 190 overall Rising Stars for a Wild Card Wednesday content tomorrow, as well as we are getting a Wild Card Wednesday fantasy pack that Kralo showed on the Good Morning Madden stream this morning. It's not a sellable, but you get a fantasy pack. You can choose basically any of the Wild, wild Card Wednesday cards from the last three weeks, as well as a rising star card that comes out tomorrow they aren't going to be collectible though or quick so they are ncat you can't sell them so they aren't really going to affect the market too much but you're getting one for free which is really good but as you see training right now you saw i was buying them earlier for trying to get them for 54k you probably couldn't see because the stream is going too fast but i was just showing examples training right now a good the best training i'll put the link in the description much is cheap but 54,000 coins and i'll probably put some graphs or not graphs some numbers on the screen 54,000 per training is 36 coins per training coin which makes the heavyweight set cost 97,000 i believe the flashback set cost 66,000 campus hero set cost 124,000 coins don't mind the training in the top right we'll get into that and as you can see all the three L's for the heavyweights are going for 100k. The set costs 97k to do, so at worst, you're losing 7k per L you pull. And then the W's are currently going. Conklin's going for 145. I think you could sell him for 150. And Sweat, right now, he earlier, he was going for 145, 150. You see he's at 170. I've been selling him for about 160. So I've been pulling heavyweights here, or so when the market kind of rises, and I'm just going to get some more coins and reinvest it into training. But basically, if you pull a dub, 30,000 coins profit minimum. An L is is only 7,000 coins a loss. So technically, you gotta pull five or six L's in a row, which I've only basically done once. I mean, I've pulled hundreds of these heavyweight packs. I've really only done five or six L's in a row once. I mean, I think these things are juiced. Basically, two out of three for me are either Conklin's or Sweats. I don't, you might not be able to believe me, but it's true. You can see the coins have been rising. I mean, I've gone from 500K to about 2.2 in only a couple days. But now looking at the training, this is where it all kind of ties into place. 89 overall rising stars pack will be an 89 plus if going off the like training values of the packs 1800 training to 2700 going from an 87 plus to an 88 plus an 89 plus should go anywhere from like 3.9 to 4.2 we're gonna go even 4k easy easy like number which means the rising stars pack will go well, what i'm doing it for is see i 61,000 coins in training for 145,000 coins to pull a rising star now i don't necessarily know if i'm gonna rip rising stars and try to sell them because i think i mean i can't see that Jalen waddle card going for 145,000. i think he's going for 180 plus but off of that i believe training tomorrow is going to not necessarily skyrocket but it's gonna go it can't go any lower than about 36 coins per training and at the worst as you see i have 62,000 coins training invested as well as one coin span left so 300k in coins that is about 2.2 to 2.3 million coins invested in training as well as 300k liquid coins now i think this investment is really it's not see it's a non-risk method because if i take the 62,000 coins training and i pull heavyweights right for 97,000 coins per pack I can just sell if I get if I pull L's the entire time to 7k loss. I mean, I'm losing 100 200k, but realistically, if the rising stars don't make the training go up, I think they're gonna go back up to about 65k for an 87, so back up to like a 45 training per coin. I just believe personally that the training is gonna pretty much go up and i'm able to rip either heavyweights rising stars basically i'm going to go into the market and see what is the best like transition from training into coins it's either going to be heavyweights which i've been doing or it's going to be rising stars but i i don't know if you guys want to follow me on this but i have 2.2 million coins invested into training we will see if this pays off tomorrow i'm hoping to get back three mil plus in return but until next episode episode 35 comment like if you have any questions and subscribe, of course, and until next time, peace.